Okay, I'm going to do a short game video here today on a way you can determine putter length. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem and we're going to use it to calculate the distance between two points. Alright, so keep in mind that club fitting is a voodoo science and then keep in mind that golf also shares a lot of human and artistic intangibles. Alright, so nothing's ever absolute. So what I'm going to do is just draw some lines here in the beginning to help me understand their setup. So I'm going to draw an eye line a shoulder line and a hip to heel line on both players. So the golfer we see here on the right, he is a state open, a state am champion, and the golfer here on the left, this is Michelle Wheat. So we'll draw her eye lines, her shoulder line, okay, and her hip to heel line. And I thought this would be a good example because obviously we can see this is a very unique putting stance. So I thought it would be a good example because it has a lot of clean and sharp angles. Okay, so next what we're going to do is establish a hand distance. So when we look at the formula here at the top right, it's H squared plus B squared is going to give us P squared. So H squared is going to be the hand distance to the ground. So from, so from their lead hand, the crease in that to the ground, you're going to measure that in a straight line down in inches. Okay. Now from that point to the very beginning of the ball where it just first touches, okay, that's going to be measured and that's going to give us the ball distance. Or for this formula is going to be B. So we're going to use it for B squared. So for him, we now have a hand distance and ball distance established and that's going to help us find the determined putter length or P squared. Okay, so this line here now we need to find. So you can see we've established a 90 degree angle here with the yellow lines, or with the two yellow lines. And now what we're trying to do is find the blue line. So we'll do the same thing for here, her here on the left. So we'll draw a distance down from the top hand to the ground. Okay, and then we'll draw again a line from there to the front of the golf ball. Alright, so you can again see that's established a 90 degree angle. Now we're going to make her triangle here. Right, and find her distance. Alright, so unless you're a math wizard, you're probably going to have to use a calculator for this. So, for on the right here first, let's say that this distance down from the wrist to the ground, let's say that's 33 inches. Okay, again, we're just going to estimate these numbers because we don't have exact measurements. So for yourself, you'll have a measurement from this point to the ground. And then next you'll have a measurement from this point to the front of the ball. And let's say for him, let's say it's 10 inches. Okay, so what we're trying to now do is find out, okay, what's the determined putter length? So let's go to the calculator. So 33 squared, all right, hand distance squared, all right, or 33 times itself, that's going to be 1089, all right, plus b squared, that's the ball distance, so that's 10, 10 squared, or that's 10 times itself, so 100, all right, that equals 1189, all right, so in order to find p squared, we need to find the inverse operation of that, which is going to be the square root, so the square root of 1189 is 34.4, okay, so what that's telling us here, is it recommending a putter length of 34.4 or that would be 34 like 34 and a half inches okay all right so let's use her for an example Michelle Wee so for her let's say that her hand distance from here to this point let's say it's shorter let's say it's only 28 inches okay so from the crease of that hand to the ground straight down is 28 inches this point to the ball it looks further away so let's say it's 12 okay so again we'll pull up the calculator just to give another example how the math's done okay so for her the hand distance was 28 squared so that's 784 plus ball distance squared, so from this point to her, there for her was 12 inches, so 12 squared, 
144, that's going to give us a total of 928. So again, to find P squared or her determined putter length, all right, we need to find the inverse operation of that, which is the square root. So we'll take the square root of 928. For her, it's 30.4. Okay, so just with these estimated numbers for her, it would be a putter length of 30.4. which is really short, so I probably underestimated those numbers a little. But Okay, so you all get the idea of how that works. All right, so those are just two examples. Again, we're just kind of making up numbers here just to show how the math and the formulas work. But, uh, yeah, I thought I would demonstrate this with you all today. Again, keep in mind there's a lot of ways to go about putting. This is just a way, if you're interested, to help you determine uh, the length of your putter and what it should be. All right, you all have a good day now. Thank you.